Okay, I have to tell you guys a story. This past Shabbos here in Cleveland was Amir Yeshiva Shabbos. A couple of the Russia Yeshiva came out here and some stayed in my neighborhood and some stayed in a different neighborhood. And it was like, you know, a whole Shabbos of inspiration and um, Matzi Shabbos, there were parlor meetings. Um, I was not particularly involved. I don't really have any connection to Mary Yeshiva. There's a woman in my shul who is a Russian Balas Chuva and her son is in the mirror. And so she really wanted the opportunity to be connected to this, you know, to this Shabbos somehow. So on Friday night, she went to one of our local shuls where one of the Rashi Yeshiva was speaking. There weren't really women there, but she really wanted to go. And afterwards, she went over to the Rashi Yeshiva and she said, I want you to know that my son is learning in the Mary Yeshiva and he's the first person in 150 years of my family to put on tefillin. Listen to what this Rashi Yeshiva said, and I don't know who it is, but I mean, I wouldn't share his name publicly even if I did know because I, I don't know if, if he would want that. But just listen to what Godless looks like. He said to her, your son is putting on tefillin, the first person in your family after 150 years. I want you to give me a bracha because my son does not put on tefillin. And I want you to give me a bracha that my son should start putting on tefillin. Is that magnificent? Is that brave? Is that courageous? Is that humility and honesty and leadership and greatness? <laughs> From the woman in Cleveland, your story very moved me. I'm the son of the Rosh Hashiva and Mir, and this one for you. <laughs> 